Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Monday the 23rd, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Ava. And hello, I'm Gabby. We're so excited to be here with you all on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place a hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. <laughs> Next up, National Day! Today is National Croc Day. Now over to our fabulous interview crew. Hey, I'm Riley and I'm here with... Sid. Describe your croc. Uh, it, it's white, um, and it has holes in it. It looks a little dirty. So I haven't cleaned it in a long time. That's nasty. Hey, I'm Riley and I'm here with... Ari. Describe your crocs. Um, they're amazing. They're the best shoe to wear. Like, describe them. Colors. They're white and they're like foamy. Are they dirty? <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you wear Crocs a lot? Yes. If you see her wearing Crocs, you know it's Ari. And I'm here with Avia. What color are your Crocs? They're actually mixed of colors. They're tie dye. Oh, that's nice. Describe them for you, please. Um, they're pink, blue, and yellow. I've had them for a while and somehow they still look new. Oh, that's good to know. Have a good day. I'm Riley and I'm here with Jack. Evan. Describe your crocs. They're nice and white. That's not white. Almost. Um, describe your crocs. They're they know. Okay. Is this more dirty though? Right? Mm, a bit. Okay. Emmy, what do your crocs look like? Uh, they're lavender with two orchestra gibbets on them. Are they dirty? No. Good. Thank you. I'm your wife. Bella. Um, what do your crocs look like? They're like turquoise with rainbow stuff everywhere all over them. That's great. Are they dirty? Very. You gotta go watch. Thank you, interview crew. <laughs> Next up, Hello Sickle! It's a marvelous Monday. Uh, uh, I'm Bryson here. And I'm Jameson. My allergies are terrible. And let's head it off with our COVID activity announcements. Participating in Power of the Pen allows students to express themselves creatively through the power of writing. Being on a team of people you share a passion for writing for is so much fun. I love being on a team of people who shared my passion of writing just because it made writing in a whole so much better. I absolutely loved Power of the Pen because all of the writing prompts were really fun and creative. The pen helps me get outside my creative comfort zone and write about things I'm not really used to writing. I made so many new friends, had so many great experiences, and learned so many new things along the way. I understand a lot more about stories, their structures, and the characters from the help and guidance that coaches and judges have given me throughout the year. Another great thing about Power of the Pen is that you can get some really awesome feedback on your writing from a different point of view. With guidance from my Power of the Pen coach, I not only improved my writing skills, but I became able to write engaging, genuine stories. And I hope other young writers, such as myself, will continue to improve their writing and make many new friends in Power of the Pen. One thing is for certain, Power of the Pen has been a wonderful experience that I will never forget. And I look forward to sharing my stories with the world. I love this organization and everything they did for me, and I know you will too. Hi everybody, my name is Sage. I was in Power of the Pen back in 2004 or 2005. Um, and the reason Power of the Pen means so much to me is because it forced me to start writing. And to this day, I think the hardest thing about writing is just getting started. And not only does Power of the Pen force you to start writing, it forces you to trust yourself. You just have to go, go, go and create. Um, and I think that's a great habit to get into. Keep writing, keep trusting yourself, and you'll, you'll just keep getting better because the only way to get better at writing is to write. Power 
of the pen. Anybody can join 7th through 8th grade. Even if you don't want to compete, you can join the non-competition team. Meetings are after school on Mondays, 320 to 420 in room 2212. Our first practice is today, October today. 23rd, which you already knew that because it is today. Yes. Email Miss Huff at HuffArtsAtMoreSchools.com. Remember, today is Monday. Tomorrow, October 24th, 4th, you gotta wear orange to recognize October as ADHD Awareness Month. You gotta wear orange. We, we the, the people. people. We the people will meet on Tuesday, October 24th, not November. Please note the date change. We the people will meet tomorrow, October 24th. That's October 24th at 7 in the morning in the Junior High Broadcast Studio, room 2151. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Goodemuth or Mr. Brenner. Lost and found. It's all gone this Wednesday, October 25th. Get your stuff. All unclaimed items will be donated to a local charity. Cheerleading tryouts. The clinic is this Wednesday, October 25th, from 3.30 to 5.30 in the Sycamore Junior High Main Gym. Tryouts, October 26th, 3.30 p.m. October 26th is the end of the first quarter, so study, learn, and keep your grades up. October 27th, which is this Friday, there's no school for students. It's a personal learning day for students and records day for teachers. Yoo-hoo! Mark, Mark your, your calendars. calendars! The new Sycamore Junior High dance team is happening. The clinic, where you'll be learning to dance for the audition, will be on Tuesday, November 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the choir room. Then the auditions will be on Wednesday, November 8th to 6 in the choir room. Same time as before, in the same room with the same teacher. Yeah. Same month and same week. Birthday! Happy birthday to students and staff celebrating today. Cody F. Louise M. Sophia Doe. Mia D. And our staff member, Coach Hunter! You, you gotta have an awesome time celebrating your special day. Special day, that's right, he made a new word just for you. That's all we have for our clubs and activities today. And go Waves! <laughs> Next up. Why didn't the mom let the little witch go trick or treating with her friends? Because she got expelled from school. <laughs> <laughs> be the most extraordinary you that you can be, Sycamore. Follow BYS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go Waves! <laughs>